All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we are still chilling in the living room playing some EA Sports WRC. Now, I was really, really, really harsh on this game when it first launched, and uh, I, I was, I was really harsh, really harsh on this game. But now it, man, this seems a lot freaking better. I'm playing on a Series X right now, um, and this is just feeling a lot better than it did before. Uh, the stages, you know, are not even that terrible anymore. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is an interesting game. Like, the, the, the force feedback did not feel like this at launch. Like, it was not as, not as good as it's feeling right now. Like, I can feel a lot more of these bumps and stuff, and... As you can see, I took the, uh, the my R330 rim back off the canvas and I threw it back on the Fanatec. <laughs> you know what, guys? I don't know. I don't know about canvas right now. I'm probably probably just gonna stick with my Fanatec. I'm probably gonna just get some load cell pedals for from Fanatec and maybe even upgrade to the 15 newton meter base. I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that new that new DD one that higher quality wheel setup from Fanatec because you know what man I I love being able to just get in a game day one and not have to worry about not having wheel support for it man I'm still trying to wait for wheel support for that freaking taxi game on Camus and I'm like I, I, I'm seriously if I go plug this into it and it works yeah dude I'm done with Camus I think I'll be done with Camus there's there's no reason to I, I I'm, I'm a I'm a freaking I'm a content creator, man, and I love racing games. When they come out, I have to have compatibility, and Fanatec honestly delivers that. With with my setup right now, I've got 100% compatibility, Play, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC, so, uh, yeah, I think this video is going to be about the Camus stuff. So, I've been covering Camus for, for over a year, Not not bad, but... When it comes to uh, compatibility, oh my gosh, when it comes to compatibility with freaking, with all the games and stuff, man, you, you just, you never know. You never freaking know. Like, it's such a hassle just to get it set up with, like, Forza Horizon 5, and yeah, dude, I don't got, I don't got time to hassle with that. I, I, I don't. I, I want to get in here and play games, so I'm not saying that camus is bad or that you shouldn't take them take them into consideration but you honestly make sure you address your needs for for uh for sim racing and stuff and make sure you do a little bit of research on the games that, that do and don't work i mean there's not a whole lot of information out there but yeah there's there's a lot of stuff that that like you're gonna have a hard time getting it running with getting a set up with like beam and g and you know some of the other games and stuff you know it's, it's such a hassle getting it set up for rec fest was such a hassle and with rec fest 2 coming out yeah i i just <laughs> we got a settle corsa evo coming out we got other games coming out i yeah it just it just makes sense for me to stick with fanatec and you know and maybe invest in a couple more rims for you know different types of racing because this r330 is basically essentially my uh my go-to for for rally racing because that's like my favorite genre of racing my favorite discipline so um i do the i do the rally racing the most and i mean dude even fanatec's got a full-on freaking replica ra rally rim that i that i badly want so <clears throat> yeah i think i'm i think i'm done you know with the canvas i'm i'm gonna pull it off the uh the good old sim rig and i'm gonna put the fanny back on Cause I mean on PC, yeah, I'm gonna put the fanny back on. I'm just gonna buy some, some fanny load cells, some load cells from Fanatec. I'll probably, I'll, pr I'll either get the version two or the version three with the inverted pedals. I'm, I, I don't know. It just depends. It really just depends how much I want to spend on just the pedals. Cause I might pick up that rally freaking. I might pick up that rally rim too, and then a little bit later down the road. Oh no, dude! I, I turned the I turned the sand down so I can't hear my co-driver. 
so I'm just trying to maybe go out of memory on this but it's fun we're just sitting here we're talking um, yeah I mean I don't think canvas is bad and it's been great for the most part I really do like the way it feels on on uh, the WRC games but you know that's pretty much where that really where that really kind of ends you know I mean the Fanatec feels better on the Settle Course of Competizione um, they both feel pretty good on Automobilista 2 uh, yeah getting in there and setting stuff up for that too it's like I mean Fanatec is set up for everything like I've 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 had a decent experience trying to uh, trying to get the uh, <laughs> the cam is working with everything it's it's a it's it's kind of a hassle sometimes so but I get it you know they're a new company they're trying to get their name out there and I, I think they make great products so far they've been pretty decent um, haven't really had any problems with them although the shifter on the C5 broke uh, I gave that to my son-in-law and he's it's already it's already broke on him so those are pretty fragile if you're buying the C5 make sure you're uh, make sure you're taking that into consideration that those those might actually break on you because they are kind of weak plastic I guess but then again you know if you're pretty rough on it if you're gentle with it it should last you just fine you don't need to like squeeze them super hard to get them to shift so but they're definitely they they're definitely made out of just a thin piece of plastic so definitely something that could potentially break pretty easy but other than that like Fanatec has been or uh Camus has been pretty good but yeah Fanatec is just awesome you know, and like thinking about like the, the whole thing with Fanatec, it's like, man, I like Fanatec and I want to be able to have that ability to upgrade my Fanatec setup. So, yeah, dude, that really sucks. I'm not going to be pushing anything other than, than Fanatec, maybe. I'm not pushing it, but, you know, like that's what I'm going to use. Get better with it and, you know, my job as an influencer is to influence people to, to use the gear I use. So, yeah, Fanatec is going to be my baby. I'm going to be a fanny boy. I'm going to be a fanny boy. A fanny boy. Oh, wait, are we going this way? Okay, go. <laughs> that could have went either way, man. Oh, boy, I just followed the dirt tracks. They, they look like they've got tire marks on them. Ooh, man, I like this stage. This is like one of the fa my favorite stages on here. It just, it looks good. There's plenty of freaking you know everything out here so yeah dude this is cute this is cute oh there's the finish line there's the finish line Ooh, and my new personal best <laughs> i was talking to you and i got that so yeah guys um i've been i've been enjoying this game all freaking day too i've i've been playing it since probably like eight o'clock this morning i got up and i was I, I i was i was playing some some forza and then i was like you know what let's go ahead and try wrc ea sports on the series x again you know because the last time i played it was on the was on the pc with a controller and so i was like yeah let me go ahead and give that a try and i've just been like wow this has improved dramatically since the days of that i was playing it on pc so yeah guys so that i'm gonna i'm gonna give up on the camus we're gonna be done with the camus i've already pulled it off my rig <laughs> camus is going bye bye and uh, Fanatec is going back, so as soon as I'm done testing out this this setup, I'm gonna put the Fanatec back on the on the sim rig in the room. So, well, in the studio. So, all right, guys, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.